between Trevor and Jason. Now, unfortunately, every t after picking Mata in the first round, my heart just couldn't take it. My heart was destroyed to see him in such agony, and I could never do that to another human being ever again. So I decided to, to devise a system where I, to, to take the choice away from me. And so I, 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 picked, I had two cards out, I had them each write their name, and you know, for a side thing, I, I asked them to write something nice about me. However, Trevor did not want to do it. Trevor did not write anything nice about me. He, he was being a meanie. He, he was saying, no Dawson, you're, you're poo poo head. And, and so, I was like, you know what Trevor, I, I don't think I care very much for your attitude. Uh, Jason here respected respected the system, and so I'm I'm forced to pick you. I'm sorry. It was going to be ran. Oh yeah, and the plan was to get Wong to pick randomly from the two cards. But right. unfortunately, that just never ended up materializing. So uh, never ended up materializing. As a result, we have one of the matches that is right now: Firefly versus Mata. Firefly already having taken the first stock off of Mata for the record. He's doing very well. Jake's been a. Uh, he's definitely set it up from uh, from the past, Jake. Well, he, 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 uh, I would say he's easily BCC most inconsistent player in terms of just the times where he'll go to packs, he'll get like top eight, and then yeah. he'll come here and uh, almost drown in pools at some points. It's like, what? <laughs> what uh, we, but we love him anyways. <laughs> we do. Firefly is always very entertaining to watch if it's Yoshi. Gets an egg leg. Good forward air. Mana 108% on his last stock right now, whereas Firefly has a good window of opportunity to uh, come back from this. And there's a good down B. Two stock. Two stocked him for game number one. So, game number one already going to uh, Firefly. Let's see if I can't. Uh... We're probably going to see a final destination pick. I believe the logic for this is um, when Matt is trying to make those comebacks, his main tools to do that are aura spheres and trying to get roll reads. And you, those two things are a lot easier to get when you have no platforms to deal with, no platforms to, to mend your approaches, how you land. It's, it's just flat. So yeah. you see like a lot of rolling, a lot of aura spheres. It's hard to deal with. And there's not like a place you can run to either. Yeah, no. Mata definitely uh, likes coming to the stage at, as for the reasons you explained. And he's more even this game right now. Firefly not in complete control. The platforms definitely screwed him up in first game. Oh, Mata. wow. Jake's like, you take that back. Forward air gets the spike. Mata losing his first stock. 42% on Firefly. Gets another oh good read. God. Mata currently not. He just doesn't know how to approach this thing. He gets it again. Mata doesn't seem to like to avoid people when he's coming down, I've noticed. And uh, Firefly is punishing that very well. Yeah, yeah, this is not looking good for Mata. No, not for sure. 87% and 67 onto a... Uh, well, 87 now onto Firefly, so even percents. Now, that was a good reaction to Mata if you saw Jake try to empty hop behind the shield and probably go for down B. Mm -hmm. And that would have probably poked. Wow. But it doesn't matter. It just, just wins. Just wins with the up air. And we're talking like... I'm going to kill like 40% because I am... I am Lucario, but didn't get to do any of that. And that's one of the big things with Lucario is they, they, they like to get to those high percents so they can get those low percent kills. You know, one versus... <laughs> Alright, well game number three, Mata once again going to Final Destination. It has to be very careful though. He's already down two games. This has been a very fast set between these two. Yoshi's a very intimidating character to... If you hold forward against Yoshi, it's going to be very tough for you. Because Yoshi bodies people who hold forward. And the reason for that is, if you hold forward, you're susceptible to, to safe uh, forward airs, to, to egg lays, to down airs. If a Yoshi knows where you're going to be on the ground, he, no matter what option you pick, he can make your life miserable. So you really got to gotta make it so that Yoshi doesn't know where you're going to be on the ground. Mm -hmm. Fighting Yoshi is more or less about being as unpredictable as possible in that regard. Yeah, you have to you have to understand like how is Yoshi going to punish you on the ground and then not do that. Oh, the counter just timed out, and Mata was able to get the shield off. 
And also one more thing, Yoshi's uh, kit kind of makes you really want to approach from the ground. Because those if you uh, try to approach from the air, you're going to eat a bunch of eggs. Eggs, up airs, up smashes. Oh, but good ah, back air from Mata. Back air. That's He's good. saying, you know, I'm not done yet. You know, I'm, I'm not here to lose. I'm here to try my best, and I'm here to play well. And Mata definitely does not want to let those last two games get to him. So he's done it before. He can do it again. Mm -hmm. This is if he makes his comeback. That is oh. the Cario in a nutshell. But he loses the first stock there to the up smash. Right, Jake, he, the up beat. Jake caught it. It's like no, 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 no. You no. need more effort than that. Yeah, a lot more effort. You can't be slacking your recovery against me. Whenever I play Jake, I gotta my recovery's gotta be on point. All your text in place. Takario's throws not very, not go very far. Uh, at least, in, at that, even in the uh, later percentages. So it's still possible for Lucario's to get you know good follow-ups and good reads off of their throws. And that's what I was saying earlier. You FD for those those roll reads. Yeah. Uh, get the grab, get the side B, get the command grab type of thing. If the percents were opposite, that would have killed. Mm -hmm. What kind of world is that, eh? Yeah, it's, it's a world called Smash 4 and Rage. I'm trying to get the read in the air dodge. Ooh. Oh my god. Hits the counter but rolls out of it. Oh, that could have been a forward smash. Mm. And now Jay's going to make him pay. Good forward air. How's he going to land? <coughs> oh, oh, he chooses to oh. go back. Actually, Firefly could have ran up and up smashed. There definitely was enough could. time. Uh, the way Lucario's recovery works is that oh. if he lands while going... If he's traveling horizontally along, along the stage and he lands, that's when he has like almost no lag. But if he comes in from like up, down, like from above and down, that's when he has lag. All right. But the Aura Sphere did catch Firefly at the very end there, so it is 2-1 right now Actually, for Firefly. I, I want to mention that I asked Lucario boards that exact fact, and then I tagged Jake on Smash boards. I don't know if he saw that or not. Jake, did you see that? He's ignoring me. I know he can hear me through his headphones. Like, he just wants to focus on the game. So game number four, going to Battlefield. Much more uh, better for Firefly, I would say, in this scenario. Great combo there. 50% racked up already. Up tilt, up air, and air. Okay, I mean not to get hit by up tilt. Mm -hmm. That just looks like it does so much. Yeah, it's one of those it's one of those things that'll set up the combos for Firefly, or for Yoshi, rather. I remember I was like, my foot was going in versus this thing. And then I got hit by like up tilt, up air, up air, up air, up air. Uh, it was miserable. Ooh, Firefly pivoted that, unfortunately. No, you've got to just just hit the C stick up. You'll kill him. <laughs> but I think he plays with tilt stick, so oh. it requires a little bit more tech skill. Ooh, Milo misses the ledge there, but he does get away from it. All oh, the shield almost broke. He dropped it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Connects him with the aura sphere while he's trying to edge guard. This stock is basically even. It's not. Really even in terms of, uh... Like, if you look at it, it doesn't seem even, but it's the Lucario. Like, it is Lucario, but at the same time, say that Lucario gets killed, right? He's gonna have a hard time killing Jake. But if, uh, Jake gets a kill right or Jake gets killed right now, then he'll have an easier time killing Lucario. Mm-hmm. Ooh, tried to go for the jab, but falling up air. Exactly. And now Lucario's gonna have to have some work to do. Yeah, a lot of work to do. Lucario's big thing is having that damage. Don't hold your shield. Oh, he jumped right into that. He <laughs> faded away. Yeah, no. You gotta. You should just DI off the stage. But to be fair, who really knows how that works? Mm -hmm. And to, to figure it out in that split microsecond, like, you're not, you're not doing that. That's, that's some explicit knowledge you need. Yeah. Mana can drop it at any time and try and go for something like an up smash, which is what he did there. Ended up getting the stock off of Firefly there. Yeah. Good forward air, but Mana did tech it, though. Yeah, he saw that Nair hit the shield, and he's like, you know what, in the same situation, he's probably going to shield again. He went for the egg lay, Mata rolled away, which is the smart thing to do. Mm -hmm. So I know Mata has been practicing the setup where you try and uh, reverse your neutral B. Uh, and land it on the side of edge so you catch them in their shield and then shield break them off the side and whatnot. It is a setup I've seen him try and do, but it's not inescapable like what some people initially thought it was. Thank God. Yeah. Ooh, and there's the jab, the up smash. Firefly will take it. Firefly moves on to the next round. Mata, unfortunately, is eliminated. Jade, 